What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up NVIDIA GeForce Now on any Android device as long as it's running Android 5.0 or higher. Now this version of GeForce Now that we're going to be using was recently released in South Korea but it's working over here in the US so it should be working pretty much anywhere in the world. It's really easy to get set up but there are a few things that you need to know before we get started. First up, you're going to need a pretty decent internet connection to stream these games properly. None of this is running from any PC in my house. This is all running from NVIDIA servers, so you don't need a high-end PC for this to work. You're also going to need a controller or keyboard that's compatible with your Android device. I usually use my Xbox One controller or a wireless keyboard with a dongle. But as you can see here, I'm running the full version of Doom on my Galaxy Tab S6 and it's being streamed from NVIDIA servers. The last thing to note is, there are some free games with GeForce Now, but overall I've been playing my own games that I own in Steam, Uplay, and Blizzard. So a lot of these games here I've already previously purchased inside of Steam, but I can use them here and stream them from NVIDIA's gaming servers. So I don't need a PC in my house to play these games, but I do need to own these games. There are a few free to play games like Fortnite and a few others, but overall most of the stuff that I've been streaming is stuff that I already own. Not every game is going to be compatible with GeForce Now, but they do have a full list on their website and I'll leave a link to that in the description. So go ahead and look over that before you even get started, just to make sure there are some games here that you want to play. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this installed and set up. I'm going to be using my Galaxy Tab S6, but this will work on any Android device as long as it's running Android 5.0 or higher. Alright, so we're going to be doing this all on our Android device, be it a tablet or an Android phone. First thing you need is an NVIDIA account. If you already own the NVIDIA Shield TV, you already have access to GeForce Now, and you probably already have an NVIDIA account. But if not, you can go to your favorite browser, I use Chrome. I'll leave a link in the description for this site here. You're going to create an account. You can log in with Google or create an account. Now this is important to access GeForce Now, so make sure you have an NVIDIA account. Next thing we need is the new GeForce Now APK. Link for this will be in the description. But keep a lookout. There might be a newer version coming out soon, so it'll tell you right underneath where it says Download APK. But right now we're going to be downloading version 5.24.274.10936. Download APK. Your browser may prompt you to allow the download. I'm going to go ahead and download here. It's finished downloading. I'll click open. And from here, you might need to grant your Android device permission to install sideloaded APKs. Go ahead and do that. I'll click install. And there we have it. We can open it from here, or we can find it from within our applications. GeForce Now. We're going to agree and continue. And you're going to have to sign into the NVIDIA account you created. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm now signed in and I can access GeForce Now. So like I mentioned, there are a few issues right now with this version of the application. If you own an NVIDIA Shield, you might know that there's more sections than just the featured section. And hopefully this is fixed later on down the road, but we can do a search from the top. And I'll also leave a link in the description for the supported games. So you can check that out before you even start anything. If we take a look at some of the games here, we can see that the Surge 2 uses Steam. So if you own this on Steam, you can play this right now. Greedfall, Steam, kind of the same thing across the line here. You'll also run across Blizzard, Uplay, and even the Epic Store. So if you own the game in those certain stores, you can stream it right here. But if you want to play the full version of Fortnite on your Android device, all you have to do is sign into your Epic account when you start the game. So for me, I'm going to go with Rocket League. I own this on Steam. I'll click play. It's going to analyze my network and I'm connected to a five gigahertz network. So this is streaming from their servers. I don't have another PC running in the house that's going to be playing this game. And as long as your connection is good, it'll bring you into the Steam login. So you're going to log into your regular old Steam account. We'll also allow GeForce Now to record audio. If you hold start on your controller, I'm using an Xbox One controller connected over Bluetooth. We can bring up the menu, press Y, it'll bring up the keyboard, you can type on the screen, or you can use the controller to navigate. You can also connect a keyboard and mouse to your device if you want to. So I'm going to go with my login here, and I already have my account set up in GeForce Now, so it's going to automatically log me in, and as long as I own the game, it'll bring me right into it.
So I'm now streaming from the NVIDIA servers. Just start a game here. And I'm now playing Rocket League from a pretty high-end PC on my Android device. It's streaming from their servers. You don't need to own a PC for this to work whatsoever. Just your Android device and the game itself. In order to back up, you can actually just go right out of it if you want to. But I usually close the game down properly. Leave match. Exit game. It's going to bring me right back into Steam. And I can go ahead and log out. So that's it. You now have GeForce Now set up on your Android device. It's really simple to use. Like I mentioned, there are a lot of games that are supported, and I'll leave a link to the list in the description. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. All links for everything mentioned will be down below. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Like I said, you'll need a controller that's compatible with Android or a keyboard and mouse. But it's really up to you. The most important thing about streaming from NVIDIA servers is a good internet connection. Now, this will allow you to do it over mobile. If we go up to the settings, GeForce Now, play using mobile data. But it's not going to work that well if you don't have a good connection. So I usually do this over Wi-Fi. We can also change the stream quality here. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. But like always, thanks for watching.